This is one of the most common locks that we have that are the inexpensive, let's call it cheap garbage that we're seeing in the home hardwares, the Walmarts of the world, the offshore made key and knobs or lever lock, and we have to rekey them. They come apart differently from a lot of our commercial grade locks. So I'm going to show you, it's, we have the lever and the knob, and they come apart very, very similar. And again, this is a lot of the offshore locks. And again, this is why it's a little bit confusing. We're used to commercial grade locks, how they come apart. These are totally different. And a lot of them, you don't need the key to pull it apart. Sometimes you need the key, most times you don't. So we're gonna take off the knob and we're gonna take off the lever lock and I'm gonna show you how to pull out the cylinder plug so we can get them rekeyed. So I'm gonna remove the two screws that hold it on. Very simple. You could do this with the lock on the door, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you what we're actually doing. So I'm gonna take off the lever. Anyway, anyway, we're at it, we're taking off the knob set. In a slage, we would, or a commercial grade or slage, we'd have the hole here. We'd put the key in, turn it, and depress it. But on these locks, just have them in the unlock position, you'll find the hole is wherever. It's usually not parallel to the latch. On this one, the hole is on the back side, but we have to rotate the lock until we see the retainer pin. So again, we have to find the hole, then we have to rotate till we see the retainer pin, and it's just a different color. You can see it, it's rectangular roughly, it's not really a pin. We can depress and again, it doesn't require a lot of pressure to press the pin. I'm doing this upside down and backwards. Okay, depress the pin and try to, wow, <laughs> pull it off at the same time. So again, we've depressed it, we rotated it, depressed it, pull it off. Then we can get at the cylinder for rekeying it. Again, it's just a a pressure fit. Sometimes I just take the, uh, the key, give it a bit of a bang. I should leave the... Give it a bit of a bang. You can use your screwdriver. I got all the muck in this thing. I got grease in it. I don't know why. So just take off your, carefully take it off so we don't mark up too much. Again, it's just a pressure fit. Take it off. Now, I always find this thing is rattle around inside, it's a pain. And just take it out, remove the back. There's a little clip. Sometimes you just take the clip off, remove the back, and rekey as normal. Who knows, this is a wiser keyway, it could key up as anything, we don't know. And to put it back on is really quite simple. Just put it back in. Get that back on there. And all you really have to do is just give it a push. Give it a pull. Ah, see I didn't push it in hard enough, that's why I always got to give it a pull. Give it a good push. and make sure she's locked in there. And give it a good pull to make sure it's not gonna fall off. I got grease all over me. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> okay, so that's the knob set. Again, we're gonna have it in the un unlock position, just turn the tailpiece, rotate it till we see the pin, the retainer pin, depress it, try to push at the same time, and pull it off. I really, really dislike these locks, but sometimes you have to rekey them. That's the knob set. The lever is about the same. Make sure it's unlocked. Again, on a, on a normal, on a quality lock, the hole's here. Where's the hole on this one? So it's on the opposite side. That's why I take it off the door. I have to spin around, look at it, and I turn the handle till I see you can just see it's a slightly different color there. 
depress it. You don't have to go crazy on the depression and pull it off. And we got the handle off. Now this one's got a little nylon piece. You know, the little nylon piece is helping to hold it in. Same idea. This one's a quick set keyway and it has the little tiny C-clip retainer. Just push it off. Rekey is normal. To put it back in, put the knob, put the cylinder inside the knob. You got to put this little piece on or it's going to rattle around. A little piece of nylon. And again, to put it back onto the door, it's just quite simple. Famous last words. Quite simple. Just give it a push. Gee was edit this so it don't look so stupid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let me do it again. Find the retainer. Depress. Find it. So there's the hole. Turn it so we can see the retainer. Depress it. Oh, F me. <laughs> Excuse me. I really dislike this really cheap junk. Depress and pull. My goodness. The Greek. Depress and you know it's much easier when it's on the door and I can pull better. Okay, depress. This is gonna make your blooper real. And there we go. Pull off. When we want to put it back together again, you know, take out the thing. Put it back together again. Just have to give it a push and give it a good pull to make sure she's not. Let's try this one more time. Turn it. Depress. And remove. So simple. And that's how we get it off. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.